What is going on everybody? My name is Michael Levan and in this video we're going to talk about serverless observability using Azure Functions. Really anything serverless though like we will go through using Azure Functions but you could use you know AWS Lambda Functions if you wanted to. It's perfectly fine. So really our goal here what we want to do is we want to have the ability to monitor serverless functions. We want to be able to have the ability to monitor errors that occur, timeouts that occur, really anything from a serverless standpoint. So I'm in Azure here and first things first, I'm just going to go to function app and I'm going to create a new function app. I'll go ahead and I'll put it into my YouTube resource group. I'll give this a name and then we'll go ahead. We'll choose our runtime stack. I'll go ahead and I will choose Python. 3.9 is fine. We'll change this to East US. Next. Okay, so then we'll have our storage account that gets created here. Our plan type is going to be consumption serverless. I believe that is the cheapest one. So for testing purposes, that definitely works. And then the operating system for the Python code base, it can't run on Windows. It can only run on Linux. Next for the networking, go ahead and leave that as the default. And then finally, the monitoring, we're actually going to say no here because we're going to be monitoring with New Relic. And I'm going to show you how to set up New Relic and all that good stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit next, review and create. And then I'll go ahead and I'll create that. And we'll just give this a few minutes here to finish creating. All right, so our Azure function has been created successfully. We'll go to the resource here. And we're going to leave this pretty basic. Uh, if I, you know, click the URL, for example. It'll just bring us up to this, you know, default page here, but we don't really care about the function itself. We care more about monitoring it. So next let's go to new relic. Now new relic arguably is one of the most popular tools right now in terms of like monitoring and application performance, monitoring and serverless monitoring. I would say it's new relic, Datadog, app dynamics and Dynatrace. Those are at least from what I'm seeing, those are definitely the most popular. So let's go ahead and sign up. If you just go to newrelic.com slash sign up, notice here, it does say free forever, which is obviously phenomenal. No credit card is required. That's great. So let's go ahead and put in our name and our work email. All right. So I have this work email. It's just like a test email that I <laughs> sign up for all my software. So I don't have to get spam. So, okay. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to click start now. So we can see it says, please check your inbox. We can go ahead and we can do that. All right, as you can see, we got this email. We're going to verify it here, verify email. So at this point we have to create a password. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. And I'll go ahead and I'll hit save password. All right. So let's just go through these quick settings here. I think it's actually maybe only one or two things that's going to ask us. Okay, and we are officially up and running. I'll go ahead and I'll zoom in here a bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click out of this. Really don't uh, want like that, the initial setup or anything like that. Let's just go ahead and get rid of that. Okay, cool. So now we have New Relic up and running and we're ready to start monitoring Azure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to infrastructure. And then I'm going to go down to Azure. So this is quite interesting. It gives us a bunch of different options here and there are several different things that we can monitor. So like it doesn't have to just be serverless. You can monitor almost like all of the popular, I would say services inside of Azure. So like AKS, you got API management and we of course have Azure functions. So let's go ahead and let's click on that. And one of the things that I actually really like about New Relic is it kind of shows you like exactly what you should be doing to get everything kind of up and running and set up. So let's literally walk through this. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy this, which is just going to show us our Azure account. I'm going to go back to Azure. I'm going to open up my terminal inside of Azure. Notice here, I'm just pretty much living in the browser right now. I'm not opening up anything from a coding perspective. So let's go ahead and run this. Okay. And now we have our subscription ID and we are ready to move to the next section. So let's go ahead and click next. Okay. Now it's going to ask us to create an app registration. So let's go ahead and do that. 
All right, so let's go ahead and let's create this new app registration. We'll call it new relic one. Okay, and then we have to select this redirect URI. So if we go back to the instructions here, notice how it wants us to put in HTTPS new relic.com. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll select web and then we'll say HTTPS new relic.com. Let's just check that one more time. Yep, we are good to go there. Right, and then we'll go ahead and we'll click register. So now at this point we have our app registration and we're also gonna have to create a secret. So if I go back to Azure and I click add certificate or secret, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna create a secret. I'll add this. Okay, now I have my value here. Don't forget that value. Now I'm going to click next and it wants us to set up some IIM permissions. So we're of course gonna go ahead and we're gonna do that. So if we go to our Azure subscription, we click on our subscription, we go to access control, and then we'll go ahead and we will add a new role assignment. We're gonna go ahead and give it the reader role. Select that and click next. And then let's go ahead and let's select members. We can go ahead and we can choose our new relic member. We'll do new relic one. We'll click select. We'll click review and assign, review and assign. And now our role assignment has been added successfully. And then we can click next here on the setup. And then now we add in all of our information. Okay, so I went ahead and I got all my information and now I'm ready to click next. And now I can select what services I want. So we can go ahead and we can choose just functions. We'll go ahead and we'll click next here. And then as we can see, it is now setting up our integration. We'll click OK. And then if we go ahead and we click on the functions dashboard, we can now monitor any Azure functions from Azure with the account that we set up in New Relic. And that's how you can get started using Azure functions or really any serverless and New Relic. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. And we'll see you again next time.